Whoa. Always something new. Girlfriend crashed her car. This one's out of my league. I'm gonna give that one to the professionals. Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to start off with refinishing a trunk and a Y spoiler that I got from a guy on Craigslist. I think he sold it to me for a hundred. Anyways, it was blue and I wanted to paint it black to match the car but I used a rust enamel and it did not turn out too good so I decided to sand it all off. Sanding took a while so I just took it in the blaster and went to town. I also decided to shave off the emblems, so here I'm mixing some Bondo and also used metal filler. Sanded it with some 80. After that I wiped it down and put some metal etch. You want to do this to any bare metal surface before painting. This is some 2K high build primer. This is supposed to fill any defects from the blaster, from pitting, or deep scratches. I'll put about three good coats on here. Block it with some 400 grit. Now time for the base coat. Sherwin Williams, any kind of paint you get from there, it's going to come with some instructions on how to spray. I don't know how to spray with anything, so here's my first shot. I'm also using a paint gun that I got from Harbor Freight. It costs about 40 bucks, and uh, any painter will tell you that most of the defects will come from the painter, not the gun itself. And if you're an amateur, this gun will do fine. If you're a professional, then maybe you'll end up spending about 500 bucks on a gun. This is what the first base coat looks like. You can also see that little test panel on the ground that I use to make sure that everything's spraying right before I hit the panels. Time for the clear coat. Now the guy at the paint shop told me it's better to spray more than less. When you spray less you end up with more orange peel and more wet sanding and when you spray heavy it's easier to sand out uh, the runs rather than sanding the entire thing. That's just what he told me but it looks like I ended up with some orange peel. In about two days I'll end up cutting this and buffing. Overall I was pretty happy with the outcome. It was really reflective. Came to an almost mirror finish. Now that I got paint fever, I opened my garage and took a look at these rims that I thought were junk. They pretty much still are. But the chrome wasn't worth saving and it wasn't worth spending the money to get the chrome stripped and powder coat and all that. So I thought I might just repaint them. Also got this bumper from the junkyard and I want to make that match. Start off with some 80 grit, just trying to smooth out the surface. I don't want as much flakes as in my paint as possible. This took forever. Probably took me a few hours. And after I was done smoothing when I was happy with it, I just cleaned it with some Scotch Bright, uh, doused in wax and tar remover.
Chrome is metal, obviously, so I use metal etch. I also want to shave the emblems off the bumper, so I'm going to fill this with some body filler. Sanded this with some 180, and then scotch brighted the entire bumper with some wax and tar remover. After that was all clean, I scuffed everything with 1000 grit to remove all the gloss finish and then gave it another wipe down. Also put some high build primer on those areas that I put filler in and uh, after that was dry I scuffed it down with 400 grit. Took me about three base coats to give me full coverage. Good thing about the base clear system is after you base coat you only have to wait about 30 minutes before clear. Here's how they started. Looked pretty bad. Here's the finished product. Tell me what you guys think. Was it worth it? Did it look any better? Think I can get a buck for them? Paint fever isn't gone. This is why it's going to be maybe a two or three part series. I got a lot of damage on the car itself and uh, that's what I'll be tackling next. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.